Poker Tonight is brought to you by UB.net. Rates, stack, own. Welcome back to Poker Tonight. Scott Huff alongside Joe Seabach. Now joining us via Skype is newly crowned WPT Championship winner David Williams. David, first of all, congratulations and thanks so much for being here. Man, thank you so much. It's, it feels so amazing. And, and thanks for ha having this opportunity to be here with you guys. Now, David, wow, congratulations. Obviously, everyone's saying the same thing. I had actually seen earlier in the week that you were writing and you were saying that you felt really confident, like you were, you were already going to take this thing down. So what was the situation there? Why were you so confident playing in this tournament? What I felt for this tournament was, wasn't really, I mean, I felt the confidence, but it was something else, too. I mean, I had this, I don't really, I'm more of a science guy. I mean, I don't believe in a math kind of guy. I don't believe in, you know, future telling and all that kind of stuff. That's just not me. But I had this really strange just vision that I was going to win. And, it, you know, I've been working with Sam Chowhan, and we talk about positive thinking and positive energy and, and, and just being positive. And I'm sure all of that helped and having everything go my way. I mean, I ran well, but something about just when you really put your mind to something and really believe in it, it, it really helps. It's, it's incredible. Well, it certainly seemed to work. Yeah, I mean, this was a tough final table, uh, you know, a tough final 10 and then a really tough final table. Uh, you know, you, you beat Eric Baldwin, who's the card player, player of the year, heads up. Does this mean any more to you given how tough the final table was? Oh, I mean, totally. I look at this this final 10, I mean, actually the entire field, but specifically the final 10 was, was a ridiculous field. I mean, it was a TV producer's dream. And the final six was awesome. Everybody was a great player. So to be able to win that event really, really feels good. And it makes me feel, you know, so confident and so happy with, with my abilities and what I, what I was able to pull off. Now, David, I've got to ask, and it's mainly because I've got my own beard going. <laughs> but I need to know, you've got the hair going, you've got the beard going. Obviously, there's some success there. Are you going to keep it for the World Series? What's going on? I'm a little worried how it's going to work in this 120-degree heat this summer. You know, going to the World Series every day, it's going to be hot. But maybe I can stay in the car and just pull right up and run in the building and, and so I don't have to get too hot. <laughs> Well, David, congratulations again. Huge victory. Thanks so much for coming on the show, and uh, we'll see you at the World Series. Thanks for having me. Now let's go to Dana Workman for P2N Online, brought to you by Poker Pro Magazine, your best bet. Dana? Thanks, Huff. Lots of fanboy reaction from the forums on Liv Marie's big win at the EPT San Remo. Eddie OB posted, just when I thought she couldn't get any hotter. So sick. Congrats. Dazzle jokingly stated what some of you were probably thinking. This has to be fake. How could a girl win a poker tournament? Ha, ha. Hey, Dazzle, is this you? Yeah, that's what I thought. But with Liv's success, hopefully that means no more interviews like this. So what's your favorite? Which hand do you prefer, 6-9 or Jack King off? What do I prefer? Out of those two hands, which would you prefer to play? I would take a Jack King. I wouldn't even... I wouldn't even play with a 6-9. Fair enough. Thank you very much, Mr. Rome. Glad we don't see the hedgehog on the circuit much anymore, though, that's for sure. Last week, we covered a story about the World Series of Poker's Top 20 Tournament of Champions current vote-getters. Van Dweller posted, Was the heading atop the ballot name everyone who was famous in poker in 2005? Axe makes a compelling case for Barbara Enright, though, saying it would be great if there was a campaign to get Barbara Enright, the most overlooked woman in poker. She was the first to win a WSOP Open event, the first to win two ladies' championships, the only woman to make the final table at the WSOP main event, the only woman in the Poker Hall of Fame, etc., etc. Thanks, Barbara. We'll keep that in mind. Wink. And now for our mailbag via Facebook, Charles Ledbetter wants to know, what is the best prop bet that you have been in or heard of recently? For this, we go to Andy Block. Um, I, you know, Eric Lindgren, like that four rounds of golf in the middle of the summer, shooting below 100 in one day, carrying your own clubs, that's pretty sick, you know. And for those who don't know what Andy Block was referring to, here's a clip. In fact, I think I played 14 hours of golf with a bag on my back and walked over 20 miles. Um, I was able to win the bet, and I regret it. I, uh, I'm really hurting. And I hope I pronounced this right. Kix Lagria wants to know what kind of music do poker pros listen to? What are the playlists on their iPods? Let's see what David Williams is listening to. Lately, when I listen to music, it's just whatever current hip hop is, is on the radio or getting a lot of play, that's really good. But, uh, Recently, kind of uh, since I started working with Sam and really learning how to stay focused and, and concentrating at the table, I don't listen to any music at all. I'm just kind of zoned in on what my opponents are doing and saying and just trying to focus on playing poker. 
sadly, that is all we have for P2N Online. To submit questions to future mailbags, visit us at PokerTonight.com, our Facebook fan page, or Twitter.com slash PokerTonight. Good stuff as always, Dana. When we come back, Tilt Boy, poker player, charitable guru, and all-around brainiac, Ray First joins us in studio. Will he be the one to finally break Trishel Canatella's on-the-clock record? Find out right after the break. Poker's biggest tournament, the World Series main event, is just around the corner, and UB.net wants to send five of our Poker Tonight viewers there to compete for a shot at Poker Immortality. To get in on the action, simply go to UB.net and sign up for a new account with the Poker Tonight referral code. You'll then receive an entry to one of our satellite tournaments for a chance to play in the main event final qualifier on June 6th. Finish in the top five of the final qualifier and you'll be on your way to Vegas with UB.net picking up the tab. While there, you'll get access to all the UB.net parties and a personal training session with either Phil Helmuth or Annie Duke. So head over to PokerTonight.com now for all the details, and hopefully I'll be seeing you at the main event this summer.